You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I'm on another electronic toy. To learn more about it, to actually give you a more in-depth video, I am looking at the original video. It's from nine years ago. This is the guy talking here. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, we're having an issue with this green. You are now watching a Lucky, Lucky Penny, Penny Shop, Shop product, product feature. feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Ooh, I started it there. Handheld phone. Yes. Plus, it has a handy mirror in there. And no, I'm not going to show you me in the mirror. See? Okay? Not going to show you me in the mirror. This uh, green antenna does, like, pulls up and down. It, does it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, we're having an issue with this green button. The other buttons work fine. Oh, so we there's an issue the with this phone. Okay, so you know what? I think I have another one of these. Up. Before I go any further, let me just check my recent additions to the Lucky Penny Shop and see. Actually, let's do this. Let's put the batteries in this one. Let's, let's stop this guy here. He's said enough. We've heard enough from him already. Ooh, it's got the old-fashioned type of battery compartment. If you're not familiar with an old-fashioned battery compartment, in the good old days, they used to use, like, a coin. They show a coin. You didn't need a screwdriver to get into the battery compartment. Okay, so it's three triple A's. Oh boy. Now I showed you this battery stash I had in a past video. Somewhere. You know exactly where I walked to and where I grabbed some batteries. Okay. Let's just leave that. Oh, there's a switch back here. That's the, the sound. So it looks like soft, loud. All right. Let's see. This turns it on. Yes. Oh, we got nothing, huh? Oh, that's a problem. I'm pretty sure I have another one of these somewhere. Why is it not working at all? Was the battery incorrect? Yes, that is correct. This one goes this way. Let's check. Mm-hmm. This one goes this way. Mm-hmm. Now, there are times when it requires this to go back on to complete the electric or whatever. Nothing. Okay, these are supposed to spin. They were stuck. It's like three little colored beads at the bottom. And you have one, two, three, four. This one's pretty dirty. Okay. Nothing. Let me check. Well, I'm back, and when I set it like this, it started working. In the process of though, of finding the process of though, in the process of looking for another one, I found this one. And interestingly enough, the picture. This one had a mirror. This one had a picture. This one has a had a. This one has a stuck green button. I have not plugged in, but see how this button stuck. This one works. It presses in. But it doesn't work. What is going on? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just uh, these toys uh, didn't last too long. I'm not sure. It's very strange why they both would have defects. Uh, the good thing is I have two of them. So maybe I can take them apart and see what's going on on the inside. Ooh, okay. So, so watch. When I try to press this, nothing. Yeah, it's totally like the spring... The spring is broken. So all the sounds. Oh, let's make sure they're on the same setting. Okay. Okay. And then these. These don't do anything. Well, maybe. Wait, let's just leave it. Oh. Okay. Three, two, one. See, these are stuck. Three, one, these turn individually. Two, one, these do not. Something's going three, on with one, the one and the two. two. Three, Can't two, tell. Three, All right, I'll tell you what. Let me reset here. There's definitely something going on. Three, two, one. See? Three, three two, two, one. Two, this one's one, stuck in two. Three. three works. Okay, so songs are going. So why 
I'm, I'm guessing that this would be the song button. Doesn't work here, doesn't work here. Alright, so let me come back, flip these over, get the screws out, disassemble them, and see if we can swap pieces to make one of these work. Okay, some cleaning supplies, screwdrivers, let's get into these. Let's take this one apart first, because this just might be one little issue. Now it looks like, okay, there's probably a battery, a screw under here. Usually there is. One here and two here, all Phillips. I know, it sounds simple. Just take it apart, right? Well, recent videos, it takes a while on some of these to really dig in and find out what's going on. Okay, as you could see already, it doesn't just pull apart. Let's make sure these are out all the way. Okay, so looking at the screws, they're the same size. Sometimes this then requires a little, you know, pull apart with a tool. Let's see. Okay, I'd probably start here because it's the initial place where you get some gap in the toy. Okay, so there's a clip here. Oh, okay, stay together. All right. Okay, so that's the on-off switch. Looks like there's a little gear in there. Here's all the electronics. Okay, so we could put the batteries in and test what's going on. Oh, see, this is a this is a flipper. This flips. And something is stuck. What's causing the flip? Hmm. Not this. Something with this. Oh, and that's being controlled with the green button. All right, we need to dig a little deeper. Let's get this one apart so we can compare the two and see why one has a broken piece in it and one doesn't. This might explain it. We'll keep for the screws for that one over here. If I, like I said, if there's an interruption, I'll have to stop and come back. There's just a lot going on around me. I like peace and quiet. Okay, it's the same thing here. Let's work this apart here. I was able to get my finger in there and then get this apart. It's like a pressure. Try to, you know. Ah, uh, see? So the gear in here is broken. So this one will never work the way it is. Okay, so, so far we see what's going on here. This pin with this gear is broken, and that's what flips it. Hmm. So which one? We're better off. Well, I don't know. Let me, uh, I'm going to change my camera. I want to get a little higher with the camera, so we're, I don't know. We'll see. Here is the gear. So this must be cracked. Why else? How else? Yeah, so this is a broken gear. Now, I probably have something similar to that. So that's good. What's causing the flip not to work? So you push this in, and it's supposed to do that. Why is there no return so these springs something's going on here with this this springs extended a lot more than this one hmm ah oh so that screw just came out up here oh it's a pin okay let's just put that it's a pressure pin So that's supposed to go shh, flip. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Must dig deeper. So this button doesn't do anything electronic that it looks like. It looks like it's strictly... Okay, let's just get this. Let's get some batteries in this one. Maybe a song plays after the screen flips. Hello. Let's call a friend. Okay. Lights going off. Let's see. I'm simulating pressing. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Now I'm guessing, only guessing that, hmm, there's no spring here, anything to kick this back. What's, it almost appears that, okay, so this is supposed to go on this gear. All right, that's moving that. That's on that gear. This pushes up. Pushes this forward, pushes them both forward. It's supposed to spin the doohickey. There's a doohickey there, by the way. Let's get that one in position. We want this one. Unless they're supposed to be in this far position. Okay, so I think this is the correct position. Let's bring this one back. Okay, so springs are in the same spot. You flip this up. It's supposed to turn this. I'm not seeing what's controlling this. There's another spring in here. Okay, that was a good, that's a good flip. It's supposed to just kind of go like that. Lift up and flip over. Hmm. resolve unless there's another broken mechanism here I'm just gonna temporarily I don't see anything else between the two that would indicate something is tragically wrong see what I'm saying what's bringing this back It's supposed to be these springs bringing it back. So when it pushes forward, moves the springs, and the springs come back, and that's what flips it. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. All right, let me completely button this one up. Okay, so yeah, it needs to be closed for this to actually... Hmm. So it appears that this spring is not pulling back. Oh, I see something now. I see something in here that might be broken. Yes. Something is out of whack that's not on this one. Okay, all right, I'm gonna change my angle here a little bit. Okay, so it's something in here. This one has this little plastic windy gear here that flips it. This one looks like it's broken off. So let me, I had to actually get down to that level. Let me see if taking this off will at least get that piece apart. You know, my guess is that there's more to the puzzle. Oh, it does. All right, let's just carefully lift. The only good thing is we have another one to compare it to. Okay, so 
I need to unhook the springs and that'll lift the whole mechanism up. Okay, so these just loop around this way. I'm guessing that's it, but let's see. There's the little gear. That's the one that fell off. Maybe I can just put this gear, that's what's missing. Hmm, again, camera change. Let's get that gear out. Yep, it's a little pin. It's supposed to be on a pin. There it is. So this is what's fell out. And that goes on the side of this. Okay. This does not look like it's connected. That's holding this all together. It's at the bottom of this. I see it now. Okay. It's not this one. It's not this one. Something else is still... Oh, uh, this whole thing is connected to this wiring system. So I'm going to have to do this somehow. Hmm. The plot thickens. And then this is connected under the gear. Okay, so everything is somehow interworking here. I wonder if I take this, we'll take the glass piece out. So I can look at it from the bottom. No. Hmm. Oh, that's part of what's holding the glass in. Oh, there's two more. There's got to be another screw down here. Hmm. Very troubling. How can I get that little piece in there? It's way below everything. Does it need to be in this? Yes, it needs to be in front of this. Just seeing if this pops out. There it is. Okay, so now that gear goes somewhere in here. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna stop here. I just want to study it a little bit before I dig any deep. Okay, so it was easier for me just to kind of take a step back. I took uh, this one out and this one out, the two side pieces that run along these gears like this, to try and get this gear in. Now the problem I have determined is that this piece will not come out because it's connected to the outer shell, which is part of the main piece. I'd have to chip this away, chip this away, and then chip these away to get this out. So then I'm thinking, you know, at this point, it's probably best I take this one and just replace this gear because it's not easy getting this in here if this piece does not come out. So let's just take a quick little look here. If this, if I take this off here, at least this is the direction I think is the way to go. And then maybe, okay, maybe take these two screws out. Let us see. Hold on a second. Okay, get those pins. These were the pins that went to that one. I think that one is pretty much shot. Let's just see what happens if I can get this gear out. I'm so intrigued usually by doing these projects just to solve a problem and fix. Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. There. That's
that's the one we don't want. And I looked to see, maybe I had a gear that would work, but I don't. Now this one is just going to have to be scrapped because there's just too much wrong with it, sadly. Okay, so this is the one we want. Let's wiggle this one in. Well, I think it's got to go under this one first. I'm going to have to get to a different level. A lot of times i got to just kind of get in there and see where things lie. Okay, so i got to get past this one. Let's see. It wants to just drop down from the top. But this is in the way. So, let's see. Maybe if I... Pull this pin. There we go. Okay. Let's get that pin out now. Put this back in. Ooh. Let's use tweezers. Ooh, my stomach. Did you hear my stomach growl? Okay, that's that. This goes back in. All right. These two. You know, you start these projects and you think to yourself, will I ever get it back together? The best part is I had two of them, so I can use one as the donor parts. Okay, spring one. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like I started, I thought, well, fix the original one, and then after I got into it, I said to myself, you know, I should probably just place the one thing after studying this. And now I can't get the spring on. And they're pretty tight. Change my angle. Okay, this one. This, okay, when it's closed and together, should work. This is all together now. Okay, so before I put it together, I know the last time I did a video with stuff, I kept forgetting to put pieces back on. Oh, yes, see, this one. like this okay okay looking over it don't need that all those go to the other one not crimping any wires that is crucial worst case scenario I just take it apart again first ah, that last one doesn't want to lock but at least we're closer let's see let's 
See what I'm saying? <sighs> Stress averted. That would have been funny, putting the battery in the wrong way. Ah, so when you get a different picture, it does something different. Okay. I'm happy. This one was actually pretty clean. Let's just give it a quick wipe down. Look at all the pieces. And it really it really bothers me when I lose a toy like that, but this toy saved this one. Otherwise I would have had two not working, right? They both had issues. But it's interesting to see now how that works. Okay, and it's kind of neat, but at this point, there's nothing I can do with this one. And sometimes I save the battery compartment. It might go in a bin of just uh, scraps, but, and the screws, I don't know. It's really not worth it. There's too many pieces broken, gears and stuff. All right, so let me do this. Clean up, come back. Let's get rid of this, sadly. And we'll show you now how this one works. Oh, wait. I can't flip the switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, no comment. You know what that means. Take it apart. Again. Boy, my stomach. Okay, all right. Let's see why this doesn't slide. Keep working, keep working. I'd rather test it with this lid off, so. Maybe this just wasn't locked in. Do that to me now. Okay. Correction. Now you are clean. Okay. As you see, I show all my errors on video. Why not? You see what I have to go through. Okay, cool. Let us clean up. Now all these little screws, these are good screws. And the little pin and this with the double gears, keep, 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 keep. This will go on this bin here. I'll just keep some extra little pieces in there for the next project. This is a broken gear. Uh, that's that's kind of like the bin of broken gears. I won't be able to use any of this stuff, but you never know if I need a little piece of plastic. That's my problem. I want to save everything. Okay. Some screws. Oh, I didn't put the screws back in. Okay, so it's these. One. Two. It helps to put the screws back in. And three. Okay. So what do you think? I know most people would just throw it in the garbage, right? Oh, I got the screws here. Those are the same screws. I tend not to throw things away. As you could tell, I've collected so much. Okay, back together. There we go. And that is, okay. Not wanting to go in. All right. Battery back in. Final check. Hello. Let's call. Yeah, let's call. Let's call. 
Good. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we've come full circle now from a two toys that were not working to one that is working great. Now, let's go over it again. So it is on the upper setting, the green button. The green slider is up, and I'm doing a little green monster. It says bug. Okay. Duck. Duck. Kind of reminds me of a Simon. Three. Do, do, do. And now four. Four. So if I press four again, let's see. Four. Okay, let's see if this flipper now shows any different. Okay, so, yeah, so this electronically is not doing anything. How about these? One. Yeah. One, two, three. So the three bead-like colors on the bottom are yellow, blue, red. So when you do the yellow, it says one. Two. And then the blue is two, and the red is three. So when it sits for a little bit, it starts to kind of like activate itself to get uh, the uh, to get you ready to play it again, right? To kind of say, hey, keep playing with me. Don't stop. Let's see. At least that's what I've noticed. It's been sitting. See? Okay, so now let's switch this down. Okay, so when does it play a song? Okay, so when you do the little bug, you get that sound. When you do the duck, you get the quack sound. When you hit one, two, three. So you get little sound effects, which I keep interrupting. Let's do one again. Now let's see what the little dial does. So the yellow one. So as you spin it, it sounds like it. And the colors match. So the yellow lights up when you do the yellow. The blue lights up when you do the blue. And the red lights up when you do the red. Now that actually is activating a sound. So when the mirror is up, it says peekaboo. Peek That's cool. I'm not getting any song, any more songs. Right there. Interesting. Now, how did I get that? Okay, so that time when I hit the bug, I got a song. When I hit the duck, I got a song. Let's see, one. No. I'm just going to see now. Let's not touch it. Let's see if it plays a song on its own now after it sits a second. Okay, so it's not activated just by sitting.
cool. Now the red uh, bead on the bottom. That's neat. Okay, so it's playing the same song. Now it's ringing and playing a song. So there's like a little tiny interlude there sometimes. All right, so there's the back. Remember, it has the volume setting. Not much of a difference there. Didn't expect it to have much of a difference. Okay, so I think... <laughs> I know his uh, Hayden's ears are tuned in. Okay, so... Well, I hate interrupting it like that. Yeah, so I'm spinning and it's just kind of going wacky and I'm hitting different buttons. So it just keeps going, playing all the different goofy sounds. All right, well, there you go. What do you think about that one? I think I hit all of the songs. I had to have hit all the songs. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will put a link to the original video, and in the original video, I'll put a link to this video. Hmm, did it always have the duck sound? <laughs> Quack, quack, quack. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Now it adds the quack when the song is playing. Hmm. Yeah. And then it adds the song with that sound. Very cool toy. All right. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Later. One more as we lead our way out. Okay, so an update now. Uh, I had sent the original video to Aiden. He checked it out. He said I was missing two songs. I'm missing Hickory Dickory Dock and Yankee Doodle Dandy. Let's see if we can find those. Okay, right off the bat. Yeah, I think those are the two. There's Yankee Doodle. Okay. A 
Okay, so it looks like the first yellow dial plays that. The blue dial. Okay, so I think we've got them all. Okay, I was just taking notes off to the side, make sure I got what was missing. So now, I think we got all the different songs and sounds on this one. It looks like they cross over too, so now you're hearing the sounds and then the songs. When I spin dials on the bottom, while the song is playing, you get all these extra sounds. So when you press the green button, it flips the screen. It looks like that's when you get those different sounds. I remember when I went through to fix that, so I think, I think I got them all. I'm just scooping around and getting different sounds. All right, there you go. Hopefully we got all the information we can from this one. And again, thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.